Okay, hey everybody, so today we're going to be doing like a first impression slash review on the UR Sugar Builder Gel in the bottle. Now the bottle does say color gel, which is not a color gel, it's a clear builder gel. And it's a soak off, you actually pop it into the LED lamp and cure it like that. And I am going to be encapsulating with the builder gel with, um, I'll be adding some of these flames that I got off eBay. And I think I'm going to be going with this one just to kind of go with the theme of the nails already. Uh, as you can see, I am going to go ahead and start prepping my fingernail bed. I'm going to go in with this cuticle bit. And I bought this cuticle bit in Amazon. It came in, in a kit. So I'm just going around the cuticle. Nothing very interesting. I just decided to kind of include the video uh, into the video because the video as it is was short. So why not add my prep? So now I'm going to go with this diamond bit cuticle. It's another cuticle bit. You could actually use it for the whole entire nail bed. It's very soft. I'm actually going around 1 to 2,000 RPMs. Very soft onto the nail bed. Just to try to take that shine off. Because it's been a very long time since I last wore some nails on my fingers. Probably like 2 to 3 months. Yeah, like 3, three to yeah, around there. So I'm going to go ahead and add my alcohol and just clean off the dust and onto the nail tips. I'm going to be using my KDS nail glue. And then I am using my BU stiletto clear tips. And of course, I bought that off of Amazon as well. So now I'm just going to go ahead and trim it and file and shape it until I am satisfied with the shape. So it looks like I am satisfied. And I'm going to go ahead again with that diamond bit and blend that tip up with my natural nail bed. And in case you guys wanted to know, um, the drill that I am using is my Medical 35K Pro drill, something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I, I forgot the name. I'll leave it down in the description box. Everything that I am using, I'll be leaving it down in the description box. So once again, I am dusting off the product, the dust, not the product, the dust. So I'm going to be going in with the Sally Hansen base for now. It's a gel nail base. I really do like it. Honestly, you guys, this, I don't know, my manicures or anything like that. They last for a very long time. Don't slip on this. This is a good product. I'm not even going to lie. I actually bought this at my local store. So now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the viscosity of the Builder Gel. It's very thick, you guys. It took forever to that drop, to drop it into the bottle. But honestly, it's thick. It's not even medium. But once you take it out into the out of the bottle and start applying it onto your nail, it starts kind of getting a little bit thin, but not too thin where it's just going to run to your cuticle area. So I'm right here, I'm just going to be adding a thin layer and then just popping that into the lamp. And then after that is done, I'm going to go ahead and add this little decal. And you guys, I don't know if I should recommend this to you guys. It's very uh, flimsy. It's very transparent. Would I recommend it for, I mean, I would recommend it if you're desperate like I was <laughs> to have some flames, which I mean, it serves its purpose. But would I buy it again? Definitely not. I mean, it was very cheap. It was only like $2. And it brought like many of them, as you can see from the beginning of the video. So right here, I decided to add another little flame because I felt like one was not enough. And yeah, you guys, you see me fiddling with it. It was, it was a struggle. This was my first time encapsulating this type of like flimsy nail decal it was very flimsy you guys and transparent i really did like the way it came out looking matte but once again i decided to go and add a gloss top coat because i just wanted to go with the theme of the nail on my left hand my right hand i'm not sure what i'm gonna go for i'm waiting for some nail products you guys i bought off of e-nail couture and it's going to be my first time trying his products. It's, I already have his um, nail forms. I really do like them. But I can't wait to try his nail products.
so back at it again over here i am adding another thin base you guys i'm not going in very thick because i don't want to have any heat spikes onto my nail because my lamp is an og it doesn't even have one of those like half heat mode like to so it won't like create so much heat so right here i'm st this is gonna be my last layer and over here i am building a little bit more of that apex and flipping my hand so that so the gel could go on like the center part of the nail so right here i'm cleaning it off i'm cleaning off the inhibition layer the sticky layer because it is sticky you guys so after that i'm gonna go ahead and file and shape and buff so I've done that. I'm going to go in with my Wonder Gel. And you guys, that's how it came out. I really like the way it came out. It's very clear. The gel is super clear. I really do like the outcome. So tell me what you guys thought about it. I would recommend the UR Sugar Builder Gel. To you guys, the flames, eh. Anyways, until next time, hope you guys do, do like this video. If you do, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Until next time, bye!